Today I'm working on a science documentary. Um, it's a 50 minute program about the search for extraterrestrial life, uh, which I've been working on for the last few months with uh, Ben Field. Uh, I work with Ben quite a, on quite a lot of projects. Uh, it's him I tend to go to when I've got an idea which is absolutely insane and impossible, which is most weeks. We've resurrected dead comedians, uh, we filmed in an abandoned limestone mine and later in the year uh, we're working on a rock musical, so stay tuned for more on that. I've made a couple of other documentaries in the past, science documentaries, uh, and in the past what I've done is given them to distributors who then sell them on to TV, TV companies uh, all around the world. Uh, it's an idea which works quite well most of the time. Um, and it's an interesting way to combine my writing work with my animation work. Um, and doing it all without a commission means that I can be in control of what happens and when. And I get the opportunity to be a bit less sensationalist in what I write and a little bit deeper in terms of the content than I would be able to do if I had TV executives in control of it with all their requirements for what fits in with the slots that they're filling on television. It's very difficult to get a programme made in the way you want to make it on television, but it's easier than ever before to make the programme on a low budget uh, and then take it to a TV company and say, look, this is what I've done, do you want to show it? In the past, I have got quite a good response from doing that. You don't get paid very much uh, compared to when you're commissioned to do it, uh, but you're a lot more in control of the process, which is nice. But the process of writing a documentary itself is way different from writing fiction. It's a lot more in the rewrites. Uh, we're now well into post-production. I'm doing the final animation shots. Here's a little bit of it. Here's some alien fish. But the script is still being written. My process with the documentary is to start with the research, obviously, and then work up a basic script. But after that, once we get into doing the interviews, uh, we've been talking to a lot of astrobiologists um, and believe me there are a lot of astrobiologists considering the fact that they've found nothing so far to work on um, but the interviews I do are quite long about an hour long and the script changes once I've done those interviews because if you end up telling the same story that you thought you were going to tell before you did the interviews afterwards then it means you haven't really listened to what the to all the interesting things that the interviewees have to say. They're the experts uh, and they should really lead uh, the production. If they're not coming up with new things during the interview then it's not as exciting. Once I've got the interviews together, do a basic edit, I can start to rewrite and rework the script. But now we're almost at the final edit stage uh, and the script for the narration is still fluid. You know, we know more and more about what we want to say and how we're going to say it. But it's going to be constantly refined right up until the point where we're, where we're ready to do the final cut. And believe me, it's extraordinary how much we can now say about aliens, uh, even though no one's ever seen one, um, just on the basis of, uh, of the way that evolution has worked on Earth uh, and what we know now about um, other planets and other stars. Uh, so it's really, it's really interesting stuff and, and a, lot of re a lot of really interesting stuff has come out of it. And it's also given me lots of ideas about other possible pieces of fiction that I can write. It's always good to be constantly learning and doing some research about other things and that can trigger uh, what you might be writing about in your fiction later on. So I'm really interested now in writing about the Fermi paradox, if you've ever heard of that.